How's it going? In today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Sweet Dreams by Marilyn Manson. Now I'm only teaching you the riff in this particular lesson and it's from a beginner's point of view. So I've got another video if you already you know, can play and you just want to play along with it then uh, I've already got a video for that. But this is from a beginner's point of view so I'm going to be talking about all the little things that you need to do to help you play this. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off with our first finger on the third fret of the A string. We're going to play that twice. Then we're going to take our third finger and put that on the fifth fret of the D string. Okay, then we're going to come back to that third fret of the A string. So now we've got. Then we're going to go over to the sixth fret of the D string with our little finger. Then back to that third fret of the A string with the first finger. All together now we've got. Now, some of you are probably having trouble trying to stretch your little finger out and stretch your fingers out in general. What you need to do is make sure that you've got the wrist dropped down. Okay, I've got another video about this. Watch it, you know, really learn from that. Make sure that you've got your hand dropped down and this will allow you to stretch your fingers out as far as you need to. Now, the other thing, the little finger, you're probably having trouble using that if you're a beginner. Don't worry about it, just persevere with it, okay? I know it's weak, but the more you use it, the stronger it will get. So now we've got... And then we're going to go back to that 5th fret on the D string and back to the 3rd fret on the A string. So now we've got... Okay, and the other thing I should mention, notice the way I kind of hover my 1st finger always above that 3rd fret. This means I don't really have to move my hand around much. Now I'm kind of hovering my other fingers roughly over the 5th fret and the 6th fret as well. Now what I do, when I'm using that 3rd fret, or sorry, if I'm not actually using it, what I'm doing is I'm just releasing the pressure. I'm not actually taking my finger off the string, but I'm releasing the pressure so I'm not actually, I'm not actually getting a note, it's just kind of deadening that string. So when I go from the 3rd fret to the 5th fret, now you probably can't see it, but what I'm doing is I'm lightly lifting my finger off. Now what happens, a lot of people in the beginning, they'll just kind of go like... Okay, now that's kind of, you know, that's a lot of work. You've got to move your fingers around loads. So what you want to learn from the beginning is trying to keep your fingers kind of close to the fretboard. So you don't have to move around a lot. It's kind of like in the beginning you work hard to be lazy in the future so that you know you don't have to move your hand around much at all whereas other people will really be flying around and there's no need for it. Okay, so that's the first half of the riff. Take your time with it, get that down, pause the video now and then come back and we'll learn the second half. Okay, so this is the second half of the riff. What we're going to do, we're going to start off our first finger on the full fret this time of the E string. We're going to play that one twice. Then we're going to go over to the 6th fret of the A string with the 3rd finger. Okay, and what you're going to do, you're only picking that 6th fret once and you're going to slide it to the 8th fret. So now we've got... Okay, practice that slowly, really get that slide in there sounding good. Okay, and then we're going to go with our 3rd finger, uh, sorry, our 1st finger to the 3rd fret of the E string. And then we're going to go with our third finger to the fifth fret of the A string and slide up to the sixth. So now we've got. So the whole of that second half goes like this. Again. Okay, so practice that half really slowly, get it down, let your fingers learn what they've got to do, and then put both parts together. Now once you get them both together, go really slowly, take your time with it. You know, it's better to sit there playing it really slowly, like ridiculously slow, so your fingers can properly learn what you've got to do. There's a lot of movements happening here, so take your time with it. The more you've done it slowly, the faster you'll be able to play it sooner, you know, because a lot of people try and play things way too fast in the beginning, so just take your time with it and you will get there. Now the other thing I should mention is about looking at the strings. 
a lot of people, because we're crossing three strings here, a lot of people will have the tendency to kind of look over here and look this way. Now I've already done a video about this and not looking at a string, so go and watch that if you haven't. The main thing is though, just don't look at your strings. Get used to the feel of where they are. Okay, just persevere and you will get there with it. It takes a little bit of time, but you will be able to do it. Just persevere. Okay, so that's just the riff. We'll look at the uh, how to play the rest of the song in another video, and then you can put it all together and play along with the whole song.